What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Three Man Broadcast here. I am your host, Harty Snipe, and today we're going to be discussing Suicide Squad, the new movie that just been released. This is going to be a spoilers-free review, so if you want um, any spoilers or anything like that, it will not be found here. But if you do want spoilers, and, you ha and if you have watched already watched the movie, and you want a full in-depth review or my take on the movie, there will be a link in the description below to where you can find that link. Watch it, and you can pretty much give your own comment and listen to what I think of the full in-depth review of Suicide Squad. So, I'm going to give you a few seconds to click that link. Alright, now let's get right into the movie review. This movie was a great movie. Um, it pretty much showed it pretty much showed out um, how good DC Comics is. Pretty much showed um, the dark, you know, night. It showed the dark side of superheroes, or not superheroes. I'm gonna say the dark side of meta humans. I'm not gonna call them hero heroes. They're not really heroes. Um, but it pretty it shows a really different side of you know all these different movies because you know all the movies are like yeah we're righteous, we're for justice and peace and you know human life and you know yada yada defeating villains. But this one is a very 180 movie on top of that because it shows heroes in a more human light. Um, for example, you know, one of the heroes has a daughter with an ex-wife. Um, three people in the movie have long love. Um, not, not, well, one of them has lost love. Three of them have, um, you know, longing love to people that they can't really get to. Um, but it, pretty, it shows a really, really, you know, darker side to actual um, superheroes. It shows, you know, not all superheroes are great like Batman or Superman. It shows that you know. It shows the everyday average meta humans that they discuss in Batman vs Superman. They show the average day you know humans, um, meta humans and basic humans. That pretty much shows um, you know how wicked they are, how how dark um, they can be. It's a completely 180 movie. So if you if so if you don't like to watch hero movies to where they're all justice, you know, defeating bad guys, this is the movie for you because it shows people that are not really you know out it out you know, defeating people for justice or, you know, defeating enemies for justice or righteousness. They're pretty much defeating it, you know, to survive, um, in a sense, which is a pretty cool thing to see. Um, so yeah, I mean, the movie was great. It wasn't, it, I mean, the movie was good, rather. It wasn't great. Um, on my list of the summer, was DC's killing it, by the way, this summer. I mean, what, I mean, Marvel has, what, Doctor Strange coming out, and that's the only thing I can see in the uh, near future, but Doctor, I mean, Marvel movies came out that was Ant-Man, um, Deadpool, um, and then, like I said, Doctor Strange coming out later, but I'd say the rankings for this would pretty much be pretty, like, 50-50 DC and Marvel, and, um, and, it, and it, if you're a Marvel fan, and you're saying, oh, I'm not gonna watch this because it's DC, yada, 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 you should really watch this movie, because it don't matter if you're a Marvel fan, DC fan, if you're, even, like, like, if you're a comic, comic book fan or a superhero fan, watch this movie, because it really is a great, great movie, um, it truly is. And um, I would have to rate if I had to rate the like superhero movies of the summer, I'd say Deadpool probably top, and then I'd probably say Suicide Suicide Squad is second behind Batman vs Superman, and then probably um, Ant Man down below that. But it really does show, you know, the darker side. Like I said, I said earlier, it shows the darker side of superheroes. Um, I, like I said, the rating would I give it was an eight out of ten. There was a few spots in the movie were sort of iffy. I really didn't like it. Um, they did go in a bad direction on one time that I didn't like as well. Um, and it, and it also shows as well the intros. By the way, can I just say the intros for each character they do that they do show is pretty cool as well. And the cool thing about that is that they that they bring in characters that you may already like. If you're a comic, if if you read comics and you're like a, a somewhat knowledgeable superhero person, they they have a mixture of heroes that you would are already have known, and they mix it in with heroes that you really really didn't know until this movie actually came out. If you actually read comic books, you probably would have known these heroes when they come in. But if you're just a person that just watches the movies and stuff like that, you might actually know some of the heroes and some of them you might actually didn't know the heroes for. Um, they do show Batman, by the way. I, I'm going to say that as well. They do show Batman a couple, a couple of scenes um, as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, and also, and I'm going to end it right here, but also make do not forget to also watch... Um, the ending credits because after the ending credits, like I said, it, it, was, it was really it was really weird to see this because the the credits rolled and we and everybody was almost about to leave and I told my friend I was like hey you know um, I think we should wait because you know they might have some after and then she told me she was like I really don't know about it because Marvel don't have our Marvel is usually the one that has the end scene credit um in uh, the extra scenes at the end but this one actually does show end scene credits for DC which is pretty weird to, which is pretty weird to see to have them do that. 
But um, I think they might have done it during Batman Superman, but I didn't really um, check up on it. But they did they did do it in this movie. So if you're going to go watch the movie, make sure to stick around to the end because there is after scene credits, which are pretty much... After scene credits will pretty much show the future of what they're heading towards that I do discuss in the in-depth video. That, that I did discuss in the in-depth video on the other video of the in-depth video. I don't know if I can say that any more times than I can. And that'll be there for this episode, guys. I know it is short, but like I said, if you do want to watch a longer video, a more in-depth video, a discussion, spoiler alert video then click the link down below as well. If you do enjoy this video, click that like button, as well as subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below what you thought of Suicide Squad or what you think of Suicide Squad when you, like, if you haven't watched the movie yet, comment down below what you think of Suicide Squad or what it's going to be. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in a later video. Take care, everybody.